So 16 overs. Pakistan uh, made 168. South Africa going really well here. 74 for one. Gibbs on 44. Boucher on strike. Oh, and there's a bouncer, and there's a big appeal for caught behind, and he's given him out. Given him out too. That's a beautiful delivery. Very fast ball. Boucher going for the hook shot. There was obviously a little deflection there. Perhaps it was the glove. See if the replay tells the story. It'll be interesting to see here exactly what height the ball went through. I think Mark Boucher is quite interested to see what height that ball went through. It's interesting one. I, I suppose the, the question one would ask is, when he hit it, was it shoulder height? And, uh, well, if it had continued its path, but just looking there, it probably would have been above the shoulder height. So really, a little bit unlucky, I think, is probably the, the way to describe that dismissal. 14 of 26 balls. South Africa now 74 for two. Stein really just inside that one a little bit. It looked as if it came back from outside off stump. That's Mr. Benkenstein. Well, he wouldn't enjoy that one too much, I'm sure. No one likes to see their son get bowled out. However, it happens to all dads from time to time, no doubt. The Pakistan, he's a loving this. That was a good delivery. Came back from just outside off stump and just nicked the stumps. Have a look. See that little bit of uh, movement back there? Just beat the outside edge. It was uh, on the crease a little bit. Perhaps could have been a little bit more positive with that defensive shot. Good bowling, though. Shower back there. Gets another wicket. South Africa, 74 for three. 74 for three. Hansi Cronier came bouncing into the commentary box. He had a big smile on his face. He's uh, just uh, got a bit quiet alongside me here right now. Hans Kluzner on strike. Well, ball right up there in the block hole again. Kluzner on the back of a bit of a bad run. Needs some runs. Maybe he saw the 144 a little bit better than the 122 from Venkates Prasad the other day. I think it looks to me as if it's uh, right in the uh, in the middle of the splice. Shoab now being uh, stretched out a little bit. I don't think he's got a problem. Is there a crack down the centre there? It looks here, yeah, right in the right by the splice of the bat, just where the um, I don't see Cronier was right. There's nothing wrong with the bat. It's just uh, where the handle, in fact, is spliced into the bat. I think that's off, often happens with uh, quick bowlers like Shoya Bakhtar. They do get the handle uh, away from the bat, and uh, I think that was just the pace of the delivery early on. Maybe hitting the bat quite low early on. Explain this to us. Well, I think that uh, Shoaib, obviously, with the amount of uh, pace that he generates, puts quite a lot of strain on his lower back. And I think that's just what he was trying to keep warm whilst uh, the change of bat, trying to keep the back loose. So he makes sure the next delivery is uh, spot on again. Right, so Lance Kluzner. On strike. He's had a few problems with his groin, hasn't he, uh, Shoaib? Uh, right, Kluzner's on strike. Two slips in position. Tearing away again. Oh, bowling! Bowling! Beautiful delivery! Magnificent bowling, Shawabakta! Absolutely spot on target and furiously fast. He's brought this place alive. Not easy. You let these Pakistanis get a few wickets. Boy, they love it. Once again, the length here is very, very good. I mean, that's the same length that got Dale Benkenstein early on. Good reaction uh, there, and uh, well, look at that over. Three wickets in the over. Lance Klusner out for, the, for a duck. 74 for four.